The first thing that we need is a virtual box. You can use MAMP or WAMP or something similar, but using a virtual box is a much more efficient solution. Okay, so here in my command line, I'm just going to run make directory. We'll call it chatty, which is the name of the social network. And we'll just cd into there. And let's vagrant in it. And if we just edit the vagrant file, which was just generated for us, I'll drag this down a bit for you. And we set the syntax to Ruby. But all we need to do is set the box to Ubuntu Trusty64. And then we need to uncomment this line to forward our ports. Okay, so that should be all we need from here. Let's go back to our command line and run vagrant up. And this will take a couple of seconds, uh, depending on your computer and your internet and things like that. But it shouldn't take too long. Okay, perfect. So if we go to our browser and go to localhost 8080, we're going to get an error, and that's because we haven't set up our web server. So let's do that now. Let's say vagrant ssh to go into our virtual machine and we'll cd into our vagrant directory. Now, to install Apache, we're going to use the apt-get uh, command, but before we do that, we need to update the repositories using sudo apt-get update, and that'll take a couple of seconds. So once that's done, we're going to install Apache. So sudo apt-get install Apache 2. We're also going to want to install PHP 5, as well as lib apache2 mod php5. So we'll run those and we'll hit Y to confirm. Okay, so once that's done, if we go to our browser and hit refresh, we should get this apache2 ubuntu uh, default page. Now before we continue, let's just very quickly install MySQL. So sudo apt-get install, and we need to install MySQL server. MySQL client is optional, but I like to bring it in just in case. Uh, PHP 5 MySQL, we need that to allow us to uh, use the MySQL uh, PDO driver. So let's install those as well. And then we're going to get this very uh, appealing page. We need to enter a password for the MySQL root user. I normally just use root, so I'm just going to repeat that. And that will continue the installation for us. Perfect, so let's just make sure that MySQL was installed. We'll just quickly uh, connect to it using the MySQL command. We'll enter our password, and great. If we show databases, we get our three uh, default databases here. So the next thing that we need to do is change the document root for Apache. So to do this, we're going to sudo nano, or you can use vim, uh, etsy, apache2, sites enabled, and 000-default.conf. And down here where it says document root, we're just going to change this to vagrant, which is our shared folder. And we also need to enter some options in here. So let's just open up our directory, directory tags. So directory vagrant, and we'll close that off. What we need to say is options, dash indexes plus follow sim links plus multi views then we need to say allow override all and that allows us to override the configuration in our directories and then we're just going to say require all granted and let's write that out and we need to restart the service so sudo service apache to restart and all that does is restarts Apache. So it brings in uh, the configuration that we just changed. And now if we hit refresh in our browser, we're getting this forbidden error. And that's only because we haven't got anything in our vagrant directory yet. So let's very quickly just create a index.php file and we'll create some test PHP. Hello world, write that out and hit refresh. And there we go, everything is working fine. So now we have a virtual box, we can move on to getting some coding done. 